Well, really wasn't expecting this today. So, newly acquired Eagles linebacker Jatavis Brown has retired from the NFL. Um, Jatavis Brown signed a one year, I think it was like a million dollars. I think 550000 was guaranteed of that deal. Um, this is a guy that progressively got worse over the past few years. His tackling wasn't that good. Um, his tackling, not his tackling during games, but his tackling went down. I think 2019 was his worst year. I think he only had like 10 tackles. But did pretty good previous years. He had like from 70 to 60, then just progressively went down year to year. I think drafted fifth round pick from... Um, fifth round pick uh, 2015 or 2016 I was hoping that this guy would compete um, this wasn't a promising this this was more of a what if I mean a lot of people think he was on the roster bubble anyway a lot of competition a lot of unproven on this linebacker core right now sorry if the hiccups a little bit a lot of unproven so I don't know what to say about it honestly I think this just gives more competition. This isn't like, oh, this is a bummer. It's really not because there was really nothing promising about Jatavis Brown. Why he retired, I don't even know the information. If anybody knows that, please tell me in the comment section below because I have no idea. But all I can tell you is that, look, there's a lot of other players to look forward to, like Davion Taylor, third-round pick from Colorado. Nathan Gary comes back from his COVID-19. He got activated today. He quarantined for two weeks. Um, TJ Edwards, undrafted linebacker from Wisconsin, another guy to really look at because, you know, I think Doug is a big fan of him. Had a few snaps last year at the end of the year because of injuries. Played very well in special teams. So TJ Edwards is another candidate. Nathan Gary's been in the system for, for a while. You have Sean Bradley. From Temple, I think he brings a lot of leadership quality. I think Sean Bradley could be our best coverage linebacker in this group. But Jim Schwartz has a lot to deal with here. I think this is the weakest part of our defense. Um, you know, I didn't think they'd have the balls to release Nigel Bradham when the season ended. I didn't think it was going to happen. He had, I think he had 12 or 13 towards the cap this year, which definitely the Eagles were not um, going to do, you know, injuries. I think Nigel Brown was one of our best free agent signings the past few years. So I think we worked out very well on a long-term free agent. I think we did very well with Nigel Bradham and good luck to him with, uh, with new Orleans signed with the saints uh, a week or two ago. So what do you have? These are the rest of the guys you do have. I think we're fine unless they want to bring in a veteran guy. They want to bring in another body. Obviously, Whatever money the Eagles are getting back from this, it's probably going to be a million dollars. It's not going to be much, but it's something. It doesn't make a huge difference. The Eagles are going to be probably the second worst team in the NFL with, I think, over $60 million over the cap for 2021, which isn't great. This is a guy that was drafted in 2015, 2016, something like that, by the Chargers, fifth-round pick, and... You know, came in because of injuries and was forced to play a lot of the time and didn't do a bad job. His stat sheet doesn't really wow you, but he was productive at certain points. Last year was probably his worst year, last year of his rookie contract and only had 10 tackles. Chargers did not want to pay him, so the Eagles picked him up. And I thought this would be good for Jatavis Brown's career just because it revives his career a little bit. He's a, it's a new team, new era, new culture, just just new everything. And I thought it was it would have been really good for his career to go to a new team and do some good things like that. But as of right now, I don't think this really affects anything. A lot of Eagles fans think that you know Jatavis Brown was on the roster bubble regardless of what was going on. I have no idea. But did I think he was going to make the team? Not really. I thought I just want to see. It, it was really a what if move. It was a unknown move. And I think our whole linebacking core is very young right now. We need to find those top two, top three guys that are going to come in and do some things. Obviously, Eagles are probably going to be looking at the waiver wire, see who's getting let go. Eagles are going to look at free agent linebackers. I don't know who the hell is left. Or the Eagles might make a trade. Probably not, most likely. 
um, they would make a trade for maybe a product guy, someone that's not a superstar, but somebody that works well with a uh, good, you know, works well with a really good scheme. So I don't really know what's going to happen with this. I wasn't upset about it. You know, you know, I, there must be a reason why he's retiring. Um, I don't know the information. If anybody even knows that, please say in the comment section below, obviously. But you know, this wasn't something where I was like, oh, my God, this is horrible. I mean, this is just more competition, just like Marquise Goodwin being gone. Was I mad about it? No, not at all, because we have a lot of young guys at that position. We have some future guys at that position right now. They're going to step up. Competition is going to be a lot better. And we're able to, high, you know, have more receivers on this roster. But going for the linebacker core right now, yeah, we've had some talent over the years. But to be honest with you, we haven't had that guy in a while. I mean, since Kendrick, since since Trot, I mean, really haven't had that dynamic speed blitz coverage. You know, Jordan Hicks, another guy, but obviously got injured every year. Went to the Cardinals, and then all of a sudden he's just healthy. You know, went to the Arizona Cardinals. We let him go. We didn't want to pay him a new contract. He went to the Cardinals, and look at him now. He's totally fine. No injuries at all. Is playing actually pretty damn good. You know, got paid I think twenty two million guaranteed. Good for him. But as of right now, I would like to pay a linebacker down the road that's here for the rest of his career. I would love to do that. I would love to not put too much into our defensive line every year. I would like to, you know, spread it out to other positions. Of course, how he loves the trenches, how he loves, you know, but but linebacker, if you can get a linebacker in there, it balances out, you know, a superstar balances it out very well. But Jatavis Brown leaving doesn't really do anything. It doesn't affect anything. I think it just improves our defense. It probably it brings more competition to that linebacker core. You know, Nathan Gary's not great, but when he's thrown to the fire, he can make the calls. He, he played on injury last year. He didn't care. He's like, it was his time to shine. You know, he I think he had a pick six last year, and he made some good tackles. His coverage, we don't have a good coverage linebacker. That, that's the issue we have. And our tackling has been very par defensively just in general. Our tackling hasn't been great. So, I mean, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm not really saying anything, um, you know, negative about this move. He retired for a certain reason. Don't know. Probably could have been something because of what was going on. Who knows? Or something happened. Who knows? He could have got hurt. Or we have no idea. I mean, anyone knows, please let me know. But all I can say is this. Sean Bradley, TJ Edwards... Davion Taylor, I like these guys coming in. And you know what? It just brings more competition to the room. And when one guy is, is out of there, you have a better chance of doing some things. So as of right now, you know, uh, he was, Jatavis Brown was on a one-year deal with the Eagles. It wasn't a big deal, obviously. So um, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about, you know, just just this uh, linebacker room in general, who you're, who you're really excited to see coming into 2020. And just let me know, because I think this is a positive. I don't think this is anything negative at all. You know, good luck to Tavis Brown, whatever he does with this, you know, the rest of his career, whatever he does. And that's it. We move on and we just let's let's keep this competition rolling and let's just get it going. So, all right, guys, I will see you guys later. Shake squad up. Fly, fly. Peace.